Tanqua Artscape 2023. Okay. So, Emma, I don't know your last name. I go by Strong. Strong? Yes. Emma Strong? Emma what Strong. a name. Emma, it would be great if you could introduce yourself and tell us a little bit who you are. Well, my name is Emma Strong and um, my name means strong woman and that's why I go by, by that. And I am a performance artist as well as a multimedia video, video artist. I'm in my honours year, so I'm still studying but completing, completing my honours year. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Cape Town. I'm from Cape Town. Grew up there. And what brought you here to this artist in residency program? Mm. Um, my friend Ming Yong went on this residency program in 2021. And she told me how amazing it was to be here in this environment. So she, she kind of egged me on to apply for it. And then I did my own research and I thought how great it would be to just be out in the desert and create work here and have come away from the university, come away from the studio and use the desert as the studio. Tell us a little bit about the four, first four or five days here now. What is your impression of the landscape mm. have you been here before before the program i have never been here before okay i've never been in the tankwa it is very vast it is very very big and i'm getting used to the environment it's taken me a couple of days to settle in and to get used to this silence around this constant silence well i'm an avid rock collector so I've been collecting rocks for a very long time and I brought with me all of the rocks that I own in my massive suitcase. It's very heavy. And when are I you arrived, serious? I'm being dead serious. All of the rocks that I've ever collected are here with me. <laughs> and when I arrived, I just realized how silly that was because I want to collect all of these rocks again you know and so when I arrived here I just thought I'm, I'm in heaven I found my place on the first day when we when we did that that first walk I came back we, we arrived at 8 30 at the spot and then we walked all the way back to camp and I arrived back at camp at one and in between I was just stop uh, stopping and I, I just stopped and looked at all of the rocks and just amazed by the variety of all of them and I think that's what I'm experiencing here in the Tankwa that the scenery isn't isn't these large things like how I'm used to it in Cape Town like Table Mountain and the ocean and the boulevards of trees and the forests but the actual scenery is like low it's down here it's the rocks and it's the tiny little plants in between those rocks and then yes these bushes around but what I'm most interested in is the stuff that's here below by my feet and so it's really just I'm in heaven being here is this your first artist in residency yes. program? Yes. So how do you experience this as yes. a single artist in the group of artists? Yes. Yeah. First residency ever. And it's such a learning curve for me to see. Well, firstly, to be in a community of artists and to be speaking daily about art and and, and the conversations, it's actually the conversations aren't even around art. It's just the conversations that we are having is so, are so different to the conversations that I have even at university, even at art school. Um, it's great to be here as one of the youngest, the youngest artist in this residency program. Um, because I'm realizing that there's so much growing that I... I'm going to be doing in my in my life and it's so good to be speaking to everybody and yesterday one of the artists here in residence came to me and told me how she doesn't think in age 
It doesn't matter that I'm the youngest one here. We're, we're all here with the commonality of being artists. And so that that's great for me. It doesn't matter my age. We're, we're all here together. Does it matter mm. for you, the age? It mattered before I came here. The, Why? In which way? I, I think it was an insecurity that I'm that I'm so young still. I this is my first residency. It's other people's first residencies, yes. But yeah, I think me being the youngest, I was just so aware that this is the first time I'm doing something like this. And it's the first time I'm doing something like this that's outside of university. And it's it's all my own decisions now. It's my first real first time that I'm making art with, without being in a... Um, in protected a, environment? Yeah, in a protected environment, yeah. Mm. You were only uh, saying your learning curve went up. Yes. What did you learn? Wow. <laughs> What did I learn? I'm learning new things every day. Just give us a um, few examples. Yeah, yeah. Let me think about it a little bit. I'm learning that communication is very important in the art um, scene. Even if you're a single artist, even if you're not in a collaboration, you're constantly collaborating, especially on a residency. So your ideas are being sort of thrown around in the group and it's very important to know how to articulate exactly what's going on in your head and I'm learning from everyone here how to speak about your ideas um, I'm also I'm also learning to be um, confident in my practice on the first day here we, we sat around the circle and we introduced ourselves Hi, I'm Emma, whatever, whatever. And I introduced myself as, Hi, I'm Emma, and I'm a student. And I just, that feels so different for me now. Like, uh, me being a student isn't my label. It's just what I'm currently doing. My label is an artist, performance artist, video artist, sculptor you know so I'm, I'm learning that I'm learning confidence in my craft confidence in my practice which is really cool sounds exciting yeah so I saw you earlier walking around in rock shoes I, like I, you know a new version of Elton John yes <laughs> he yes. used to have these you remember these huge these silver massive, yes. boots uh You came here, you applied with an idea, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, you came here, what happened to your idea? Is it still the same? Are you working on something similar? Has it completely changed? What happened? And why did this happen? Mm -hmm. So when I arrived here in the space, I came with the idea yeah, to, to make the clay sculptures. And... Um, On the on the first on the second day when we did that long walk that I was telling you about, um, that walk really I think changed my direction for me because that was the first time that I was like sort of plopped in the environment, and I was just on my own mission, solo walking back to camp, and I found myself when I was walking on the ground, I f I found myself not wanting to disturb the land. Um, because I was so aware that whatever, whatever path, uh, whatever way I was walking, I was making a pathway behind me. And so there were moments on this walk where I was like rock jumping. And I, I didn't want to touch the land. So I was just jumping on these like big circular rocks, try, almost like that game, the floor is lava, you know, like just rock jumping. And I think that's kind of what made me go to this idea in that if I if I'm wearing rock shoes, then I'm not I'm not I'm not disrupting the environment. It's it's rock to earth, 
you know, it's rock to land. And so I'm, I'm interested in the idea of footprints and leaving traces and mark making and mark making as a kind of drawing on the earth, drawing on the land. And I'm very interested in hiding my trace, hiding my mark. So when I when I make these shoes, these rock shoes, they don't look like a human footprint. They don't look like an animal footprint. They're completely their own weird thing. And so that's why I made them, I think, just to make these marks. And if people come across them, you know, if there's no wind, if there's, you know, nothing, when people come across them, they'll wonder, what creature walked over this land, you know? Yeah. So... Can you tell us a little bit more what you are going to do with these rock shoes or is this still a secret? If it's still a secret, we skip it. It's well, it's not a secret. I can I can say I found I found two rocks that fit my shoe size perfectly. And I've drilled two six millimeter round bars. In the rocks, and now they kind of look like Birkenstocks. <laughs> kind of, yes. <laughs> and I plan to walk the land with these shoes. That's kind of the performance. Yeah. I'm excited to see this. <laughs> yes. I'm excited to, <laughs> to feel it out. It's a challenge. Yeah. So my last thing for today, maybe... You know, we do another conversation mm. uh, towards the end. Mm, yeah. Uh, if you would have to describe this environment with five words, mm. what would these five words be, Anna? Energetic. Still, yet vibrant. Intense A journey One word. A journey What do you mean by this? It's almost like Every Everywhere you go Every turn I make Every new hill I'm on top of Or valley I'm in Or bush I'm next to it's like an internal journey is happening when the sun because you're so aware of the big sky when the sun is is directly ahead of you or just uh, on top of you or just in front of you things are changing in my mind and it's like an internal journey like constantly around me in the environment beautiful ending thanks a lot sure.